Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? It's been a few months since my last upload, and I'm sorry about that. I've been doing stuff, I've started a job, I've joined the military, so it, it, videos are going to be going downhill. I won't be able to make them, I won't be able to do anything like that for a while because. After maybe a few more videos. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna stay. After a few more videos I make, then I'll be getting shipped off and going to basic. But that's not that's not what what this video is about. It's not an update. Today, I got a package in the mail. I w I've been waiting for a few days. And one. Thank God I waited as long as I did, because if I didn't wait as long as I did and sent the company a message saying, hey, where's my package, that's going to look bad on my part, because I'm not being patient, I'm not waiting. I finally got my package today, and what I'm going to be doing is a review. I'm excited. I went ahead and opened it so that I can have easy access to them because they are like legitimately all right there. But that's the boxes. Now, what I was trying to do on this smart little device was to actually look up the names for all of the things right next to me because one all of these came from a site called Blade City and I'm going to be doing a review my honest review you guys may think other but it's my opinion it's what I say I'm still excited I won't, I've been I've been anticipating doing a review and I'll explain how I got it afterwards. Now, let's get on to the review. Alright, now what to start with? What to start with? Now let's start with the small stiff. Which one? Which one? Mmm. Alright, we'll start with this. Alright. That's a, uh, a CSGO. Rainbow Oil Slick Balasong. But that's not the name of it, and I have to find the actual name. Yay. That's the fun part. Let's see. Well, after it loads everything, then I can start searching for the names. Alright, this knife right here, I don't know how well you guys can see it, it is a Venom Fade See It Counter-Strike Go Sharp Balasong. Let's 
So, what I think of this one, I like it. Now... Let's see, the character loot. Because I want specs, I want information. Let's see, the overall length is 9.5 inches. Length in this state is 5.5. It's a metal steel hardness 440C and it's 200 grams. It, it is light. Now, this knife, I have no idea what the name of it is. I am honestly, legitimately confused. But, at the same time, it interests me. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Can I find it? I will have to wash my hands afterwards. Alright. Knowing the name of that knife is going to bug me more than anything. And I have no idea what company it's from. Um. I have no idea what the name of it is, so I've got to search it. Yeah, it's going to make the video longer, which I don't want it to, but, you know what? Hey, whatever. Pretty sure you guys have been wanting a video. I've been wanting to make a video, so yeah, there is that. Oops, eight minutes in, I forgot to do that button. I want to look a bit snazzy. Alright, see. Yeah, this knife is going to irritate me.
All right, so what I found out was this is a safety switch. The safety is off. But it is very interesting. Yet I don't know the name, which that's going to bug me. If I can find it, I can find it. If not, not. If you guys can find the name for this for this knife, let me know. Be very appreciative. No, it's not that, but getting pretty god darn close, that is for sure. Well, anyway, whatever the name of this blade is, it, I, I don't know, but I like it. It's very interesting. It's well-made, and it, I'm pretty sure it's really durable. And that safety switch, that, that I definitely like on a porting knife. I was not expecting it. It's very interesting, and it just makes me want to just makes me want to like ask the creators what what their like what were what was going on in their minds when they were making that knife now let's see this one what is this oh this is the stiletto <laughs> Yep. All right, now which stiletto this is, I have no idea. Now this also has a safety right there. I just moved it down. Safety no more. That button, the triggering button. Looks like it's got a dagger tip. Looks like that's my opinion. It looks as if it's a dagger tip. Let's see, that's not bad. Very interesting. Just was not expecting a stiletto. Now, which stiletto this is, I'm I'm confused about. One hundred percent confused. Don't know what which one this is, but it comes in a very interesting sheath. The sheath itself looks like nylon, but it doesn't at the same time. It's more more likely a different material because it's not nylon. So what material it is, I have no idea. I wish I'd known. And the next box to open. I'm getting all the st small stuff out of the way. Ooh, I like this one. It's a, it's a an OTF knife. Mm, that's very interesting. 
feels well balanced. Very tough on on the trigger. It's got a glass breaker. All right, so it has a glass breaker. It's got a clip. This one is very interesting. I really want to know what the name of this one is. Now, if I can find the name for all of these knives, I'll have I'll have them in link. It's in the description stating what all the knives are in order that I showed. And if they have specs, I'll throw them in as well. But this, I really like. It's a 440 stainless. Now that, that's really tough. But the grip, I like. I really like. Now the case it comes in. Hmm. I honestly have no idea. I want to say it's like a nylon. I want, I want to say it's like a nylon, but I could be I could be a hell of wrong. So just don't take my word. I could be right. I could be wrong on the material that the sheath is made out of. So don't don't suspect me to be right. I'm just guessing what it is. And the names, I wish I would know off the top of my head. I really love knives. But not knowing them, that irritates me. This one might be nylon. So that's a water, that's actually a waterproof material. I'm, not, I'm, I'm going straight to that case now this case go on the belt obviously but the inside that's a waterproofing material I can tell that easily it feels like it's gonna be waterproof if you're gonna be out in the rain or out in the weather it feels like it's gonna be waterproof for the blade let me show you This big motherfucker. That's a fucking cleaver. That's the size of my fucking arm. That's tech. Now, I don't know all the specs for this. 440 stainless, that's one of the specs, but I don't know the name, I don't know anything like that. But it's got some good fucking weight. And the, all the legalities, I have no idea if this would be legal here in, here in my state. So, I'll just keep it. Have it up on display when I fucking get a display. Back in the box it goes, and back over here. And all, all of these knives, I actually like. Next one. Now this is a folding Galaxy Karambit. Pretty sure that's the name because one, that's the design on it. I don't know how well you guys can see that. But one little issue. Now that's an issue because folding blades, they have that locking me mechanism as in that thing right there is supposed to get pushed over. 
when it's open so that you can pull that out and fold it but something seems to be wrong and I think yeah I kinda see it it's too long that's what the issue is it's just a smidgen too long because I'm taking a good look at it because I don't want it to accidentally close on my fingers which it will so and this is from ViperTech so if the guys that are at ViperTech are watching this and so happen to see me making a video with this galaxy folding karambit or as some people would love to call it raptor claw it's kind of in the shape of a raptor claw it, it's like a, a smidgen too big on the locking but done right it will lock it that's what I was hoping for But there are people that will just open it with both hands. Did lock. That's what I like. That's what I want it to do. I love knives, and what I do know is if it's a folding knife and it's supposed to lock open, it should lock open. It's got a good weight. My opinion, I like it. And most people, most people are iffy, but I like it. And this is from FiberTech. Last knife. And this one is from WarTech. Now, I was trying to find information on this one first, because of how big it is. It's still in the case. Oh, 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 I like, I like, I really like. How oily is the blade? Not oily. Now this is a Huntsman. It's uh, uh yeah, I don't know how to read the information, but I like it. I especially like the case, the sheath. Push it down all the way, set that there. Yeah. What's supposed to go in there? Interesting. I'm the utmost intrigued. Unless this is supposed to go in there. Now that's stitched. Or might be this. Now what is this, you might ask? The paracord. And paracord is on here, signed like that, so you can go on to, uh, what is it? I cannot think of it off the top of my head. Um, what there's cow. I think I can find some. Um, uh, are there are civ military lick bags for civilian use? 
it, it's uh whatever they're called this can attach to them like it can be attached to those bags and you don't have to carry it on your belt which it can be used for as you guys can see my, my, my fingers in there go into your belt um, looks like I can go on to something else just by looking at this one which I have no idea hold on I'll be I'll be good gun darn they could be strapped to your leg You could be strapped to your leg. You could be strapped to um, the military bags. But, it's my honest opinion, and uh, I will do my best to look up the names for all of these knives and put them in the description what I will say is all these knives I love I love except for maybe is it in this one nope that one no this one I like them all except the stiletto. Because I'm gonna have it locked. I I have no idea what I'm going to have it have any use for. Like what what use am I gonna have it have? In my opinion. Like what use, honestly? I don't know. Does do I care? Nope. Do like the mechanism. But in my opinion, I just don't like the stiletto that much. Will I do a review on it? Yeah, I will. Now, in a much later video, I will do um, a sharpness test for all of these knives. I won't do it right now because I'd have to go get paper and I don't wanna be lazy. And I need to find find a place for these knives. So if you uh, if you guys like this video and want to see more videos related to this or whatever, just subscribe, hit the like button, all that. Thank you all for sticking with it to the end. And, uh, oh yeah, I was going to say how I got this. Um, I went to a site called Blade City. I was like, I'm bored. Uh, I want to buy a package, a uh, mystery package, which I did. I bought a surprise bag at a value of $109. Now, it was on sale for about $84.95, somewhere around there. I bought it. I was waiting. So yeah, that's how I got these knives. I did not buy them individually. I bought a surprise bag. And my god, was it worth it. I'm not taking the knives back out. That's how I got all of these knives. Now, I do like knives, I do like sharp things, but these knives are very interesting. You've got the Huntsman, you've got the OTF, I don't know the whole name. This is a wooden handle with that safety, I have no idea. Folding Karambit, the Stiletto, the Bellasong. 
and you got the cleaver. Seven knives. Few of almost all of them. I have no idea what the actual name is or the, the actual names are, and I have no idea what what the specs of them are. But I'm happy that I got the package. I've been excited to do this, and it's a review. And I kind of, my opinion, I like them all except for the stiletto. Like I said a few moments earlier, why I don't like it. And my is it's my opinion. Oh, everybody has their own opinion. But it's not like a, I I hate it. Or I love it. It's like in that middle. It's like Bella song. I love it. The this is for example. This I hate. This is in the middle. How, how am I gonna do this? There we go. Like uh, iffy. Like. I don't like it, I like it, and then the orange black box is that I hate. But, that's uh, just an example of what I was doing, what I meant. They were all on my right, I put them all on my left. Yet, I could have piles for them, but, no. It's my opinion, and most people will agree with my opinion, most people are going to disagree, whatever, I don't care. But, I love knives. I love knives. And, guys at Blade City, if you see this video, good for you. Send me more packages. Please, I, I, I don't care. If you guys want to, go ahead. I don't care. I don't care. Besides, Mystery packages are always the interesting ones, because you don't know what you're going to get. The surprise bag off of Blade City. You want to know something? I didn't know what I was getting. And I loved it. It's very interesting. Knives. Pretty sure they're well crafted. But, nonetheless... Very interesting. Alright, well, see you guys next video, whenever that'll be. When? I have no idea. Probably when I feel like it. And you know what? See you guys. Have a nice day. Bye, dudes. Oh, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, just subscribe. Do what the fuck you want. I don't care. Alright, guys.